Vodafone Big Top 40 with Marvin Humes. Hello and welcome to the Vodafone Big Top 40 web chat with Pixie Lot. Hey, hello. hello. Are you all right, gorgeous? I'm good. How are you right. doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Right, let's get through some questions. There are lots of people have been tweeting. Uh, ha- hashtag PixieBT40. If you want to get any in, you can. Uh, Gavin Burke wants to know, how much fun is it to be an international pop superstar? Oh, <laughs> that sounds professional. <laughs> um, I love it. I, love, I think my favourite part about... Um, being a singer is that I get to perform shows. That's my all-time yeah. favourite. So I loved last night performing with dancers, but I love doing it with like a full live band or acoustically everything. Yeah, fab. Um, Eloise Scott, 98, wants to know, uh, what got you into music in the first place? Who's your inspiration? I grew up um, listening to a lot of soul music, a lot of Motown, but I always loved like all the pop powerhouse diva vocals like Whitney Houston, yeah. Mariah Carey, Celine Dion. And I think just listening to them sort of like I never had singing lessons, but I used to listen to them all the time. And I think that sort of helped teach me how to sing. Have you never had a singing lesson ever? No, you, now, you now I do. Oh, yeah, okay. recently I've... Um, I've been working with a vocal coach, okay. um, not recently, probably about two years now, but he's so brilliant. He's made such a difference. And I sort of didn't know anything about technical singing. I just sang, always sang my whole yeah. life. But now it's good to actually know what you're supposed to do and what you're meant to do. What did he teach like, you? What, what did he, what did loads he... of cool stuff. Like, well, you know, just always warming up before you sing. And I have yeah. to do funny warm ups like, <laughs> stuff like that. But it really helps. Oh, wow. Mm. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because you just think that someone would just come and sing and that's it. But yeah, actually... that's what I always yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I got recommended to this, this guy. His name's Matthew Shaw. Mm. And he's brilliant. Um, oh, actually, I shouldn't have said his name because now everyone's going to hit him up. And then he won't have time to do me. But he's, um, yeah, he's just, yeah, I didn't know you had to be, you know, technical and learn all these things, you know, to make your voice have stamina and last. Um, but now I know these little tricks of the truth. Can you notice it when you hear, when you hear yourself? Yeah, can you, in, really in can. Songs? I think just about, basically, the main thing is stamina because, you know, when you're releasing singles and stuff, you have to be able to sing, like, all the time. Yeah. And, um yeah, he's just taught me like some really great things. Looking after your voice. Yeah. Uh, apart OMG. from last night, I haven't. Oh yeah, apart from last night, <laughs> that vodka that's, throat. That's fine. <laughs> Every now and then. OMG, it's uh, Ke- Kiara. Uh, wouldn't wants to know who would you love to collaborate with? I would. I think contemporary artists. I'd love to collaborate with Bruno Mars because yeah. he has an amazing voice and music. And he's very soulful, so that's the kind of vibe that I like. Yeah, that'd be great, wouldn't it, to get mm. in the studio with him? Is that going to happen? Are you going to... Well, it's not in the diary, nope. but I would love it to happen. Yeah, yeah. Bruno, hits up. Come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cammy wants to know, if you could give any advice to your future self, what hmm. would you say? Oh, I don't know what I'm going to be. I don't really know. Uh, what would I say? Uh, if I was talking to my future self, <laughs> I would say, hello there, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess just like keep enjoying yourself, have fun. I think that's the main thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Armadeep wants to know, what's your favourite song that you've covered? Um, Good question, because I've covered quite a lot of songs. Uh, I'm going to say the most recent ones because they're the most recent and the most (laughs) fresh in my mind. Yeah. Um, So I've done a cover of Wake Me Up, Avicii, um, Lord Royals and Bruno Mars When I Was Your Man. Um, Which are actually available on like the Nasty EP thing. Oh, are they? You can download, so you (laughs) can actually have that on your iPod but um, they're my favourites I think just because I did them recently yeah. how do you pick them how do you go into it um, they were just um, big songs of the last year that were my favourites yeah. when I looked at like the list of all the songs that had been released and then I just like to put like I don't think you can ever compete with the original because they're always the best I yeah. think so if you completely change it, change the style, then it can't be compared because it's completely different. Yeah. So like Avicii's obviously That's a good like way of getting out of it. Song. Exactly. <laughs> Avicii's like a dance song, so I just like slowed it down and made it soulful. And yeah. Sort of made Lord soulful and more funky. Sounds like a different song, doesn't it? Yeah. Sounds like a completely different song. Mm-hmm. Uh, Melina wants to know what's the best and worst thing about being famous. I think the best thing again is the shows because it's more time favorite and just like meeting loads of cool people and all the people that support you and stuff like that. Um, the worst thing is, I can't really complain because I feel like that would be ungrateful of me because I'm very grateful. But <laughs> um, I guess just like, what you know, when it gets really busy and you have to go to like different countries every day and you don't have enough time for sleep. Yeah. Um, and like working with no sleep, I always find really hard. And you miss family too, I guess. Yeah, and then you don't get to see your family and friends as much as you would. And I'm really close to my family and friends, so... Yeah. It's always Skype and FaceTime. Exactly. <laughs> uh, OJ Am Forever wants to know, out of your videos that you've shot for your singles, what was your favourite to shoot? 
My favourite to shoot, I think I'm going to say boys and girls because um, it was like, like only my second video, so I was like really excited. I still get really excited for any <laughs> video, but all my friends came down, there was like 100 extras and they were all really cool, quirky people and just like a fun group of people and we were just all like having fun and dancing. It was like a party. Yeah, so, so, same sort of vibe. It's nasty actually because, mm -hmm. again, it was just a big party. So whenever there's loads of people and everyone's just like dancing around, it's always a Do you get shy in, in front of people when you have to perform it in, in the video when they're filming it? Does it, does um, it feel weird or is that not? I think weird? I'm used to it now. The only yeah. thing that's embarrassing, I think, is for every music video, I don't know if you know this, but when you like sing, sing the words to the song, they like to always get slow motion shots. No. To, for them to get slow motion shots, you have to sing the song sped up so they can like rewind it back and it goes slow or something. So they play the song double time and you have to sing along. It's really embarrassing. Oh my gosh. To be like, I sing it, I do it on my man. <laughs> and I can't keep up with it. And everyone's looking at you and it's just embarrassing. You just look crazy. Yeah, you do look crazy. <laughs> uh, Emily wants to know what's your favourite place in the whole wide world to perform. Oh, I think we asked you that one before, yes. didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, Pixie, uh, sorry, Blandine. Pixie wants to know, Pixie, what's your favourite moment of your career so far? I would say my tour that I did, um, Crazy Cat Tour, because I got to meet loads of cool people and perform every night. My friends and my dancers who came on tour, so that was really fun. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely a highlight. Yeah. Uh, Holly Creamer wants to know, what would your DJ name be? Oh. Oh, my DJ name would be DJ... <laughs> There's the hangover. Yeah, my brain is fried. DJ Crazy Cat. DJ Crazy Cat. Yeah, you, you can go. have that one. Uh, Georgina uh, Pixie wants to know what's your proudest achievement so far. Um, I don't know. I think. Um, oh, I don't really know. That's a hard question. So I never sort of like sit there and go, oh, "I'm really proud of myself." I don't think I've ever done that. You should do. You should reflect. I know. Mm -hmm. I can't really think of anything. I don't know. I'm really What pleased. would your mum say is the proudest moment, you think? Oh. Mum a lot. Mum a lot would say... I don't know. She's a bit biased, a bit of a sucker. Like, every time she always be like, I'm so proud of you for everything. <laughs> Even if it's, like, after this web chat, she'd be like, I'm really proud of you for that. <laughs> oh. um, I can't think now. I, obviously, I love my tour, and I, I'm just grateful that I'm releasing my third album and... And the singles again, and I hope I can just do it forever. Yeah. Um, Emily Lott wants to know, have you got plans to start another fashion line? I would love to. Um, but the, the one I did before was a collaboration, so I had to sort of... Um, you always have to compromise your yeah. collaboration, like go with their bestsellers and what they're good at. Um, you could do a 60s-inspired one. Exactly. I'd love to do my own range. It's more 60s-inspired. Yeah. Um, but obviously, it would take a bit more time when you do it by yourself because you'd have to, you know, do everything and yeah. have any help. Um, and I'm just focusing on my music, really, this year. But I would love to in the future. Yeah, I would love to see a line, Pixie Lot line. That'd be great. Uh, OMG, it's Kiara again wants to know, what's the most embarrassing thing that you've ever done? Ooh, embarrassing thing... It's quite embarrassing today, actually, because I'm wearing, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing a dress that I sort of didn't even realise when I put it on when I left my house this morning in a bit of like a... A uh, frenzy. Yeah, a frenzy. <laughs> it's got poppers all the way on the back of it. So I've got shorts on, luckily, which is very good, but... Whenever I sort of sit down or anything, the poppers come undone. I've seen quite a lot of pixie lot. Yeah, so I have to keep like popping them back up sneakily. Like my poppers are actually undone at the moment. I wonder so, why Marv was looking in the window. Oh, yeah. I, didn't even, I thought there was nothing behind me, but there is actually. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, Melina wants to know who's your favourite artist? My favourite artist is definitely an artist I listened to a lot um, when I was making this album, Otis Redding. All right. Because he, I know he's a bit old school, but. He very old school, but he's got an amazing voice. So if you don't know him, you should check out his videos on, on YouTube and stuff. Uh huh. Uh, so he's your favourite. Yeah. Um. Uh. Let's have a look. Get nasty now says, uh, what could we expect from your new album? It's very soulful. It's still current and and pop, but it's very soulful, and that's my favourite style of music and my favourite style to sing. So. I definitely think it is the most me out of all my albums, so hopefully people you got a name will for see it, yeah? that. That's why I self-titled it this time. Ah, okay. Um, Alice Marsh wants to know, what three words would you use to describe nasty? Love you, Pixie. Love you too. <laughs> um, I would say fun, fresh and funky. Lovely. Daniel W wants to know, what career would you, uh, would you have if you weren't a singer? What would you be doing? Um, I'd still be doing some sort of entertainment thing like dance or drama or something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe a bit of acting. Or... A bit of acting. Yeah. Uh, Cammy wants to know, 
Uh, ask her to tell us a little bit about her outfit today. Well, we have the poppers at well, the back. Well, yes, I have revealed the little secret. So hopefully they don't pop undone when I'm scooting around today. But it's a little floral number from Dolce & Gabbana. And I've got a little leopard print bag somewhere. But I don't know where. where Marv's rifling gone. through it in the next studio. He's having a look at all your wears. Oh. <laughs> um, let's They've got Percy Picks in there. Yeah, yeah, they're mine. You can have them. Don't Are worry. they yours? Yeah, you can have oh, them. I'll look give them to you. It's a hangover cure. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa wants to know, what inspired you to write Nasty? Um, I didn't write Nasty, oh. but um, what inspired me to do it was because I listened to it and I thought it was the perfect song because it still, hopefully will get people excited for the album, but it's still sort of fresh and poppy, but it introduces that soul sound. Yeah, which it's is very you as well, isn't it? The song, it's like, it really suits you. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look. How much do you enjoy being on stage? That's from My Dilemmas 1D. I love it. It's my all-time favourite thing and I just always want to do it. Uh, Kelly Green wants to know what's the perf- perfume that you use most at the moment? Um, Chanel Number no. 5 at the moment. Oh, classic. Yeah, I had actually got it for my birthday or Christmas or something and I didn't want to open it because last time I did that I smashed it all over my bathroom floor and I wanted to save it for something special. <laughs> and then the Brits came along and I saw it and I was like, this is a special occasion, I'm yeah. going to open it. So then I've been wearing it ever since the Brits. Makes you feel like a grown-up too, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very grown-up. <laughs> a real lady. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pixie Paparazzi wants to know, uh, what's something you can never leave the house without? Um, Probably just like my phone. It's got like all my stuff on it and my music and... Uh, Your life. Yeah, everything. Uh, what's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? That's from Chloe Louise O'Neill. What's the what? Weirdest thing a fan has ever done. Weirdest thing? Um... I can't really, I don't, I, I don't Your fans aren't weird. weird. Yeah, no, they're just lovely and <laughs> so what, what have they sent you? Have they sent you anything strange? Just lovely letters and like little treats and stuff like that. I love it. Do you get the time to go through and read the letters and things? Yeah, definitely. Some of them are so sweet and lovely. They always seem like such nice people. There was actually <laughs> one weird thing I got sent. I couldn't really quite understand. It was like a little fluffy chick with like a self-made hat and there was a few little hats that like little ones. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm going to send this back round to you again in six months or something you're going to keep receiving these hats I couldn't quite understand it but what, I didn't the, the hat to put on the little chick yeah I couldn't quite understand it but they didn't come back again so <laughs> <laughs> that's bizarre <laughs> um, let's have a look what was your favourite moment of 2012 2013 and 2014 oh my memory is so bad I can't even remember what I did yesterday so 2000 you were in GOY yesterday <laughs> yesterday I was at GOY yeah. that is my favourite memory of 2014 because <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the one you can remember <laughs> um, 2013 probably just recording the album yeah because loved that being where did you do writing. it did you do that did it in London New York and Miami mm-hmm. and 2012 um, I think I was still writing for the album then so same kind of thing I think that's when I went to New York and mm-hmm. I, lo- I was there for two months and I absolutely loved it loved New York who were you staying with when you were out there were you on your own or I was by myself to? yeah oh. which was quite fun actually because I was working with the same guy every day um, so I made friends with that him and his sister oh. and do you know Kaiser she's like a new uh, artist oh, she's no, got I don't. A, mm-hmm. a new song coming out soon and she was um, one of his really good friends so I pretty much saw her every day and she was lovely oh. and they've kind of they're spending a lot of time over in London so they so can visit bump you. into them a little bit yeah that's sweet um, Deborah wants to know will you be playing any festivals this year I hope so festivals are my all time favourite um, I love playing like V Festival I love White Festival so yeah, I can't wait for festival. Do you know of any that you're going to be at? Or I don't know yet, but all will be revealed soon. Probably on like my website or something. Do you still go to them if you, even if you're not performing? Yes, hundred percent. Which one are you going to this year? Which one? Are you if planning? I'm I'm not performing, um, I would go to V Festival because it's the most close to my like friends mm-hmm. and family where they live, and they all go. And we always I've been every year since I was like fifteen. And I love it. Yeah. Uh, Cammy wants to know if you had to pick one movie title to describe your life, which one would you pick? Um, to describe my life. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. I'm going to say, to describe my life, I'm going to say something like. Um, <laughs> today clueless today clueless that is 100% what it would be today you've got it you've been down the minute the hangover <laughs> yeah, like, hangover part three uh, Le- Leia wants to know can you ask Pixie if her album will be coming out in the USA 
I hope so. Yeah. I haven't released anything in America, so this is what I want for this album to do. Because so you're going to start with this one? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, when, when are you looking to do that? Later this year? Or? Yeah, um, well, I'll have to release it here in Europe and Asia first, and then it'll be America after, so I don't know how long that generally sort of takes. Okay, watch this space then. Erin yeah. wants to know what was it like working with the Vamps? It was really great. They're lovely. Um, cheeky boys. boys. Cheeky chappies. Really talented musicians as well. And it was great to... they. I collaborated with them on Wild Heart. We did like a, an acoustic version and yeah. then they did the same for Nasty. So that's fun that we got to sort of like return the favour. I bet they were in love with you, weren't they? When they were like just all Google-eyed <laughs> looking at you. They're all lovely. They're so quite sweet. cheeky, aren't they? Yeah, like, did they play any tricks on you? No, no tricks. No, they're all good. They're all well behaved. Yeah. I think that's all of them. Uh, oh, how come we're called crazy cats if you prefer dogs over cats? <laughs> that's from <laughs> Jess Cabranson. I do prefer dogs over cats generally because... No, there isn't really a reason, I just do. But cats sort of just came about because it was... Um, it's more just a phrase of what I would say to people. Like, growing up, my mum always used to say it to me, my brother and my sister. So then I just used it in my general speech. Like, I say to my friends, come on, cats, let's go. Or, you're a little cool cat, something like that. <laughs> and then I just started tweeting it out. Like, oh, hey, cats, just, like, in general, like, yeah. anyone. And then... It went People started to embrace it and just be like, oh, we're the crazy cats. I was like, yeah, that's cool. That'll do. We'll yeah. go with that. <laughs> uh, Danny94 on, on BigTop40.com has said, uh, what's your favourite pub meal if you had to pick? <gasps> oh, oh. I could do one of those now. <laughs> um, <laughs> depends. If it was a Sunday, is it Sunday? Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like a roast dinner with yeah, chicken. Fully roast. Proper roast. Or like fish and chips or... <laughs> Sort of something like something along those lines, yeah. Mm, makes uh, me hungry. <laughs> Jess M wants to know why have you waited uh, for three years or two years, however long, it was, uh, to release a new song? Why have you waited so long? Um, because I was just being a perfectionist with the album. Really, I just spent a, a lot of time on it just to make sure I got it right and got the sound what I wanted. Um, so that's really it. Just trying to make sure I was happy with it before I release it. I didn't want to release it and not be. You know, 100%. on it, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, we're going to pop back in there to see where your song charts. Uh, so Please. thank you, everyone, for joining in. If you want to watch thank it back, you. you can later, bigtop40.com. Thank you very much, Pixie. Thanks, Thank you. The Vodafone Big Top 40 with Marvin Humes.